Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. It's not big. My stores are kind of like slow on stuff, but I'll show you what I got. Also, I want to thank Cheryl. Cheryl, thank you so much for sending me these. Um, if you're not aware what this is, it holds balls or cakes of yarn. So you have the hole in the middle and then this I think holds it while you're not used, like you wrap your loose end around it so it doesn't pull out. These are fantastic. So as a knitter and a crocheter, I have a, what's called a, a yarn swift and it cakes uh, and a yarn caker and it cakes up your yarn that comes out of a skein and it will fit perfectly. Ah, my hands are slippery. It will fit perfectly in here. You pull from the center and then it will, when it collapses on itself, it'll stay tidy. I'm so excited she sent me a whole bunch of them. Thank you everybody who offered. I really appreciate it. I have not seen these in my store and when I went online, you had to order 48 of them and I'm like, I don't need 48, but I'm excited and I cannot wait. So you can use the, the spinner that makes cakes or you can just wind it into a ball and put it in here and take your loose end and then it doesn't roll all over your house. And can you imagine working with more than one color at a time, how exciting these are gonna be? So excited. Also, I made for my coworker or one of my employees a pickle. She asked for one. It is a the positive, or no, this is the emotional support pickle. I will always be around to let you know you are a big dill. I got to put some eyes on them. So I made that with not Dollar Tree yarn. This was from Hobby Lobby, but I could put the yarn in here when I'm doing it. I know. All right. That is everything. Now, like I said, I did not purchase a whole lot, but I got some stuff. So let's see what we got. I went to a few stores. Um, a lot of this stuff is just refresh for me. Some sugar-free candies. I like to have them on hand. Um, oh, but I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I got a couple drink mixes. I love this pink starburst and I got a fruit. I'm, oops, I'm running low and guys, this is how I drink my water. Sorry. I'm not sorry because I got to have water, but that's how I have to drink it. And then for Easter baskets for Michael and Sarah, I just got them a Godiva and I think that's all the candy they need for their Easter baskets. I'm tidying up over here. It's a mess. I got a mess, kids. A mess. Okay. Then I purchased... Oh, I got two boxes of these. I have not seen these before. This is Surefresh sure sure brand. So it definitely is always sold at the Dollar Tree. These are oversized marinating bags for like your refrigerator. And you get two of them. But I have an idea for these. So they're big. I mean, like, this is a large bag, and it's a two-pack, and it's nice and heavy, but it has a bottom, it's called a box bottom, that opens up, right, to make room. So you could put a whole chicken in here. I would say a small turkey would fit in here. Look how big that is. But the uses for this are endless. And here's my thought, and this is why I bought them. When I go to Ireland next year, no, this year, in a couple months, um, if I need to hand wash anything. So the premise is you use the sink, but a lot of hotels in Europe have very small sinks. It's because they're small old buildings. Nothing wrong with that, but that is the reality. And sometimes like hotels just have a stand up shower and a small, and I mean like a small little sink. So my thought was throw this in the bottom of my luggage. If I need to hand wash something, I get muddy, I get dirty, whatever. I can put the water in here, zhuzh it up in this, dump it out and then rinse it. Um, yeah, that's my thought anyway. We'll see how that pans out. Um, just in case, because I have had a situations where, you know, maybe I went through more socks than I thought or underwear, or I got something on my shirt and I wanted to wash it before Sains. There's lots of reasons you would do laundry on vacation. So 
yeah, these are fantastic. And this is the first time, the first time I've seen them. So these are the Sure Fresh marinating bags, which again would come in handy for like a whole piece of meat, like big. So I grabbed two boxes of that. Um, and then we, oh, I grabbed these two wrap Easter baskets for Sarah and Michael. These are pretty. Should I use that as my, oh, let's not cover the cat. Um, just to do their Easter baskets. Now, oh, and I grabbed these to try. These are everyday flushable wipes. So these are actually designed to be used like adult toilet paper or for kids. Um, as I mentioned, when I travel, I like to bring something like this with me because a lot of times I've been out anywhere in the US, Canada, Europe, and there's no toilet paper and you're stuck. Yeah, I'm not getting stuck anywhere without toilet paper. Been there, done that. I'm grown and smart. So this little bit of nothingness and I don't flush them, even though they say flushable. Please don't worry. Okay, now we have birthdays at work. And I got this birthday pyramid thing. Coffee. It's a tabletop. We're not allowed to bring helium in because we have, um, it's a very industrial building with the ceilings. And we have this, it's called a big ass fan. And that's what it is. It's giant and it circulates the air. So no balloon, no helium balloons. So I picked up just some different balloons so these are the ones with like the little confetti in them these are just like the tie-dye and these are just assorted colors and i went with the 12 inch we'll see if they're too big and then if they are i'll go back to the nine inch size but each one i think has eight balloons so i grabbed a variety and we just stick them on the person's desk for their birthday so i need to take that to work so I can put it in with our birthday decor. That was my job. Um, and then the last stuff that I got, um, I'm doing on Thursday. So for you, it will be tomorrow is leap day. And I'm doing a little leap day party at my office for my staff, whoever decides they want to come in. We're going to just have some fun. I collected a bunch of white elephant type gifts and we're going to do a white elephant and I'm going to bring Brookies because everybody likes those. Um, if you don't know, that's a brownie on the bottom, a chocolate chip cookie on the top, and I bake them in a muffin tin. So they're individual servings. And we may order pizza or something. I don't know. But just a fun day because it's once every four years. Anyway, so one of the gifts I got, and I, try, I have a hard time sometimes finding things for the guys that I think they will appreciate. You know, they don't want pens and pencils and notebooks and all the furly girly stuff. So... Well, some of them might, but mine don't. I put together this little basket that I'm going to, a little gifty. It's snacks. So I got the Haribo Star Mix. So this has all the different uh, flavors of gummies. So we got them Haribo. And then I found these and I'm like, oh, that's perfect. It's like sour noodles and they're supposed to be like pho noodles. So I got that to go in with it. So two of those, some Takis hot nuts. So these are spicy peanut or spicy peanuts. Yeah. Chili pepper, lime, double crunch peanuts. I just thought those would be fun. And then I got a bag of Takis, but these are nacho. I've actually tried these and they are so good. If you love a good cheesy, these are delicious. They are hard and they're not really great for your teeth. Apparently that's what the TikTok dentist said. So I got that to go with it. And then I grabbed this little air freshener for their car, for a car. And it's a Hot Wheels. It smells good too. It smells good. It doesn't smell fruity. So I thought that's a fun little thing. And what will happen is this will all be in a bag together with, with that. And then, um, just like a traditional white, I think I have a hole in this bag. Nope, I don't. A traditional white elephant. I'll, everybody will, who's in the office, so nobody has to go in. But if they are in that day, because we're on a three-day work week in the office, if they choose to go in and they want to participate, because it's not mandatory. I know people get all flustered about that. It's not mandatory. Um, you don't want to have fun. Go sit in a corner somewhere. 
they will get a number and then they draw the number. And so whoever has number one will go into the, on the table and pick a wrapped thing. They can, they'll unwrap it. Now they can put it on their desk. They have, well, they have to sit it on their desk. So, because we're on the phone and busy. And then number two, when they get a chance, we'll go either take from number one or they will go to the table and take a new gift and so forth and so on. Gifts can only be stolen one time. So if the person who steals the talkie bag and somebody takes it from them, that person can put it away because nobody else can take it from them. So it's just a fun little, a little game that they can play and we can have fun while working. Cause you know, it's work. Yeah, but it's fun to feel appreciated and it's leap day guys. So that is everything I got at the Dollar Tree this week. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep kicking the table that you're sitting on. Um, I did go and paint. I went and did, um, it's at a knitting shop, but we painted sheep. I did that this week. This week has been crazy busy for me. I've been working a lot of hours at my part-time job at the Ohio State University. I'm actually, oh, I don't have my watch on. I'm getting ready to leave in an hour for uh, women's basketball. If you haven't checked them out and you love women's basketball, the Ohio State Buckeyes, the women's team is ranked number two right now. And I think they've won 13 in a row. I need to check my stats, but they are playing at home today. They have two more home games and then we'll start hosting the March Madness. So we're gonna get, I think four games because they're ranked number two. So that's exciting. Um, so I work a couple shifts this week. Pottery is over. So as soon as I pick up all my pottery, I will show you what I made. And again, thank you, Cheryl. I so appreciate. I'm so excited to use these and put stickers on them, maybe. I know. I'm so excited. It's funny, though, that they're white, but whatever. Who cares? I can't believe my store hasn't got them yet. I'm sure they will. But I'm excited. And you can also use this for ribbon for like wrapping gifts. If you use the curling ribbon, put that in there. Who cares? Any, any type of twine, baker's twine, any type of string can be stored in one of these. All right, guys, that is it. I will talk with you later and you have a fantastic day.